launching day and a big day at this Auckland shipyard. Mr Coates is here to speak for the government and his daughter to launch the ship in traditional style. This ship is a fair mile patrol boat specially designed for hunting submarines. She was finished weeks ahead of schedule and more of these boats are on the way. In the same yards on the same day the second is taking shape and the keel of the third is being laid. Like the one just launched, they too will be well armed and fitted with revolving windscreens for heavy seas. Built in New Zealand and ready for action. This is no one night a week practice for these ambulance girls in Dunedin. They're on duty every night and every day. Though fully trained, they spend their waiting time practicing some more. Ready for any emergency, they're taking the place of men. At any moment, a call may come, a telephone message, an accident, the ambulance is wanted. Out into the night, on a call that may take them to city streets or lonely country roads, for they serve both town and country districts. Minutes may mean the difference between life and death. And the rest just carry on, always ready. This is the country of the ancient Mary. All of these hills were fortified. The Mary was a great fighter. Now the legend history of a proud and virile people comes to new life as the Mary marches once again to war. Here in the heart of Mary Northland is camped the New Zealand Mary Regiment. Men from the Napui, the Arawa and the Ngati Poru. In some ways the Mary is changed. He fights with boxing gloves. But in a real fight the Mary is the Mary of ancient times. Then the gloves come off. The modern Mary, like the Pākehā, gets letters from home. But now there are no wahines to do the washing. Yes, it was a great fat eel we caught. The Mary is an expert in the use of leisure. But here he has an urgent job, training to fight a new sort of war. And he does it with Mary enthusiasm. His lecture room is a hut built with Nikau palms. Out of doors, the Mary renews his skill with many weapons, old and modern. His favorite, the bayonet. Its use comes handily to men of the race that chipped its weapons from the flint hard greenstone. Beneath the uniform, it is the same Mary. After the day's work, the fire on the open hearth and music. The fighting powers have gone, but the hills remain, and the spirits of the ancient Mary look down from them with pride, as Mary and Pākehā, shoulder to shoulder, make history again. Thank you.